Hello there, everybody. How are you doing today? It's me yet again. And again, well, folks, again, look, we've been here before. This is our sixth time. And yes, I am calling the Honorable Mallory Cooper. Once again, this is what I'm saying to her. Okay? And once again, it will be notarized and documented. Only today we're doing things a little bit different. See, I... I, I've been wondering, not only myself, but other people have been wondering, are they getting, is the judge getting the messages? Well, got a new phone. Not my phone. Borrowed it from somebody who, know, who knows, they know about it, but I've never discussed anything with them on this phone. So... They shouldn't see this call, phone call coming, and I'm not going to post this video tonight. This is Monday, the 18th, Monday the 18th, 17th, 19th, Monday the 19th. I'm sorry, my, my camera operator is, is correcting me. Hey, I'm sorry. I got other things on my mind. Today is Monday the 19th. And it is, uh, okay, this phone uses military time. It's 1937, so that's uh, 737, I believe, uh, military time. So it's 737 p.m. Monday, the 19th of February, 2018. And I will not be posting this video until Tuesday morning. Now, I want to just say this real quick. It is sad that... All I'm doing is reporting crimes. It is so sad that I have to go to these lengths. Okay? But again, I am not going to take matters into my own hands. I am not going to make this about me. I am not. I am standing for the law. I, all I'm doing is reporting crimes. And I am doing everything by the book, by, according to the, what the Word of God says and according to what the law says. As you will hear when I say to the Honorable Mallory Cooper, I still do not know if she's gotten any of these messages. Tonight, after tonight's, she should get it. She should get this, because they, they don't know that it's coming. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to call her. Two, two. Oh, nope. Two, five, five. One, two. Eight, eight. And again, this is so you know that it's the Honorable Mallory D. Cooper that I'm calling. You've reached the chambers of the Honorable Mallory D. Cooper, Circuit Felony Division, CRD. I'm sorry, I'm either on the phone or away from my desk. Please leave your name and number, and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Your Honor, my name is Kerry Joseph Nelson. This is my sixth time directly contacting you, the Honorable Mallory Cooper, by calling this phone number with all phone calls, including this one, having been legally documented, with all phone calls, including this one, having been video recorded, as well as with all phone calls, including this one, having been posted on social media. Your Honor, I have been trying to contact you to report to you an ongoing conspiracy to obstruct justice that you, Your Honor, I believe, have unknowingly been made a part of. I say that because according to, my, to court records, you were lied to by one Terrence Martin on January 6, 1998, when Terrence Martin filed false documents to and before you stating that I was arrested on 12-3-1997 for solicitation of prostitution, and you, Your Honor, found me guilty of the crime of solicitation of prostitution. Furthermore, the court records state that I, Kerry Joseph Nelson, pled no contest in open court to said crime. One problem, Your Honor. There is no arrest and booking report anywhere stating that anyone, let alone myself, was arrested on 12-3-1997 for solicitation of prostitution. 
Furthermore, I have never been before you for any criminal or civil matter, meaning I was not present in your court on 1-6-1998. This means that Terrence Martin stopped being a state attorney on 1-6-1998, meaning that Terrence Martin did not have the legal authority or the legal jurisdiction to make or even offer any type of plea deal to one Donald Smith, meaning Donald Smith should have never been released from jail, meaning Cherish Periwinkle should have never been kidnapped, raped, and murdered on June 21st, 2013. Your Honor, as both a law-abiding citizen and a, and a Christian, I stand protected by the law. I stand protected by truth. I stand protected by Almighty God Himself. And I will continue to stand and report these documented, ongoing crimes that are being committed to me and upon me on a daily basis until the law is applied and justice is served. Your Honor, inaction is an action when an action is required. Your Honor, Doing nothing is doing something when something needs to be done. Your Honor, I, Kerry Joseph Nelson, refuse to take matters into my own hands and try to make things happen. I will not interfere with any court proceeding. I will not show any type of contempt for our judicial system. But instead, I will stand and continue to report these crimes until the law is applied and the threats are removed and justice is served. Your Honor, as both a law-abiding citizen and a Christian who is obeying both the direction of, of Almighty God and the direction of the law, as well as in accordance with my First Amendment right to petition my government, I, Kerry Joseph Nelson, am, for the sixth time, humbly requesting that you, Yourself and personally call me at my Google Voice number 904-419-9883 and leave me a message letting me know the best time to contact you at your office so that justice can be served. Thank you in advance for your prompt attention to this matter. This concludes this sixth call from me, Kerry Joseph. Nelson. To send this message, press pound or hang up. To play it, three. To re-record it, four. Your Honor, my name is Kerry Joseph Nelson. This is my sixth time directly contacting you, the Honorable Mara D. Cooper, by calling this phone number with all phone calls, including this one, having been legally documented with all phone calls, including this one, having been video recorded, as well as with all phone calls, including this one, having been posted on social media. Your Honor, I have been trying to contact you to report to you an ongoing conspiracy to obstruct justice that you, Your Honor, I believe, have unknowingly been made a part of. I say that because according to, my, to court records, you were lied to by one Terrence Martin on January 6, 1998, when Terrence Martin filed false documents to and before you stating that I was arrested on 12-3-1997 for solicitation of prostitution, and you, Your Honor, found me guilty of the crime of solicitation of prostitution. Furthermore, the court records state that I, Gary Joseph Nelson, pled no contest in open court to said crime. One problem, Your Honor. There is no arrest and book and report anywhere stating that anyone, let alone myself, was arrested on 12-3-1997 for solicitation of prostitution. Furthermore, I have never been before you for any criminal or civil matter, meaning I was not present in your court on 1-6-1998. This means that Terrence Martin stopped being a state attorney on 1-6-1998, meaning that Terrence Martin did not have the legal authority or the legal jurisdiction to make or even offer any type of plea deal to one Donald Smith, meaning Donald Smith should have never been released from jail, meaning Cherish Periwinkle should have never been kidnapped.
kidnapped, raped, and murdered on June 21st, 2013. Your Honor, as both a law-abiding citizen and a, and a Christian, I stand protected by the law. I stand protected by truth. I stand protected by Almighty God himself, and I will continue to stand and report these documented, ongoing crimes that are being committed to me and upon me on a daily basis until the law is applied and justice is served. Your Honor, inaction is an action when an action is required. Your Honor, doing nothing is doing something when something needs to be done. Your Honor, I, Kerry Joseph Nelson, refuse take matters into my own hands and try to make things happen. I will not interfere with any court proceeding. I will not show any type of contempt for our judicial system, but instead I will stand and continue to report these crimes until the law is applied and the threats are removed and justice is served. Your Honor, as both a law-abiding citizen and a Christian who is obeying both the direction of, of Almighty God and the direction of the law, as well as in accordance with my First Amendment right to petition my government, I, Gary Joseph Nelson, am, for the sixth time, humbly requesting that you, yourself and personally, call me at my Google Voice number, 904-419-9000. And leave me a message letting me know the best time to contact you at your office so that justice can be served. Thank you in advance for your prompt attention to this matter. This concludes this sixth call from me, Kerry Joseph Nelson. To send this message, press pound or hang up. To play it, your message has been sent. If you would like to try an extension, you may do so now. Okay, you, you know the old saying, third time's a charm, well, maybe the sixth time's a charm, okay? And again, all this is all I can do. Do not, do not go out and ever take matters into your own hands. I am not trusting these criminals to turn themselves in. I am trusting and believing that the author, uh, the, the establisher and author of our laws, Almighty God, otherwise known as my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is raising up and will raise up real law enforcement officers, real true godly authorities who are not afraid to both uphold, enforce, and apply the law when they know that the law, when, when they know that said law has been violated no matter who has violated said law. This is over and done with. Stand and watch Almighty God move. Do not take matters into your own hands. Get into a good relationship with your Creator. This situation is over and done with. So says the law, because so says the word of Almighty God, because so says Almighty God. Let's just sit back and watch Almighty God move. And when He does move, you best believe I'm going to be giving Him all the praise, glory, and honor for it. Because when it's all said and done, you will know that it was he that did it, not any man, and definitely not me, because all I'm doing is reporting crimes. Keep the faith, and, I'll, and I will keep you posted. Until next time.